My name is Josh Hurd, uh, Senior Product Innovator for Brand Jordan, and th this is the Air Jordan 28. Um, starting off with the shroud of the 28, it's a uh, very high-end uh, Scholar Swiss made material um, that also has a lining, a fleece lining on the inside of it. We're utilizing uh, YKK zipper, so very durable, um, robust zipper. Um, we have carbon fiber uh, external heel counters that provide support and stability where needed. Um, if, you if you unzip the shoe and go to the inside of the product, we have the um, what we're calling a dynamic fit system that's inside the shoe. And it really works by these types of independent fingers. You can kind of see them here. They go all the way down into the strobel board so that when, so when the consumer laces this up or the athlete laces this up, it feels like they're pulling 360 degrees around their foot. So it really kind of locks in your foot in that aspect. These fingers will also move with your foot. So again, more of a natural motion product. When your foot's moving, the shoe's moving with your foot. Um, we also have um, our flight plate technology, which is our underfoot technology. And this is really um, the most exciting technology that we have on the product. So we took a multitude of products from Nike Basketball, from Jordan, and we measured their energy efficiency through peak G uh, testing within our Nike mechanical uh, testing lab. And so we found out that Zoom Air by itself is extremely energy efficient. So, but the way that Nike was utilizing it and the way even Jordan has utilized Zoom Air in the past was not uh, maximizing the effectiveness or the responsiveness of the Zoom Air. So we've been able to essentially unlock the Zoom Air from the product by pouring foam, carving foam away from the Zoom Air. So there's no, there's no foam touching the Zoom Air here in the forefoot. You can see we have an outsole piston. So when the consumer presses down on it, the athlete presses down from the inside of the shoe, of course, this all flattens out and it will be at the same level as the rest of the perimeter of the product, right? So there are no instability issues just because this is raised up. And then on the inside, we have a moderator plate that um, moderates the entire system. Zoom Air tends to have some uh, hot spots or some pressure points in certain areas. So that moderator plate moderates everything out um, so that you don't get that. It's also a very springy um, um, plate as well. So um, it moves again with the foot. We've also decoupled the forefoot from the heel. Um, not many basketball shoes have done this in the past and that's also an insight from our Nike Sports and Research Lab where they basically said that during lateral, lateral cutting motions, your forefoot and your heel are reacting very differently and very independent of each other. So that's what this product does as well, is it moves with your foot more in a natural motion way.